Hi, welcome again. Today we're going to talk about procedurally painting a landscape using terrain magic. And here we are using an interesting approach. We are not going to use an auto material in our landscape. We're going to start painting everything using terrain magic procedurally inside the editor. It will be really easy to do. For example, everything you see here painted procedurally uh, using terrain magic. And this is just 10% uh, of the things we can do. We can do a lot of things uh, with this tool. For example, uh, here you can see there's uh, like a gravel texture and there's a uh, ground texture and the uh, rock texture blending together. Uh, I can do some changes very easily. For example, here we have the slope layer. So this is the uh, rock texture. Here you can see there are some uh, like a uh, gravel texture in between ground and this one. I can uh, reduce that by increasing this normal contrast. And you can see now we have more of a rocky uh, texture over here no uh, gravel texture so i can reduce this value and again get some back of those uh, gravel textures so there are a lot of things you can do with, with this tool uh, for example another thing is uh, we have the sand patches here and there i can easily uh, change them the pattern for example uh, like this so i can easily change the pattern and also there's some sort of like a beach layer not exactly beach layer but there are some edges you can see some sand at the edges so you can see there and we are spawning grass this is coming from the landscape material for sure and one of the interesting thing about this landscape material is so here we don't need to use auto layer just a landscape material with some uh, landscape bent so this will be something interesting so let's get started all right first thing is we need to have terrain magic installed into your project you can get terrain magic from the marketplace or from github if you're using non-commercial purpose check the description below for get all these uh, links and then you need to have a landscape material and you can use any landscape material the only requirement is you need to have some layer blending like this and then you need to have alpha layer blending uh, as i mentioned over here if you're using open land and there's a special material called m underscore open land auto less so this is the material instance so it will be uh, set up for you there's no auto material here uh, but just uh, layers so it will be really easy to customize so you can bring more layers and it's really really easy to customize and you can see it's, it's pretty simple and we have the grass layer over here and some rvd stuff so let's start with the tutorials so i like to start with a fresh level so i'm gonna building everything from scratch but if you already have a landscape height map everything set up you can continue without doing any sculpting or creating your landscape but in this case i'm gonna create it from scratch all right uh, first i'm gonna create a new uh, level should be an empty level and I don't, I don't need to save this one don't save and i'm gonna save this i'm gonna file uh, save current level i'm gonna write into my tutorial that i created earlier so all right then i need to have some sort of light system uh, with terrain magic you can search for terrain magic content from here right uh, from the search bar and if you can't see this uh, make sure you go to settings enable uh, show engine content uh, and show plugin content right now we have terrain magic content and here you can search for sun sky we have a simple actor which will simply a simple light setup for your scene and then uh i'm now i'm gonna create a new landscape landscape and first thing is you need to enable this enable edit layers button it's quite important whole terrain magic functionality is based on this feature and then about the material you can use any of the landscape material you have but i if you're using open land i really suggest to use mi underscore open land underscore autolas so that's a new material that we shipped uh, quite recently uh, then uh, about the size it's up to you so i'm gonna create a 2k landscape over here and i'm gonna hit create all right then i'm gonna go to my paint layer section i'm gonna select the first paint layer i'm gonna select the base right in this case and i'm gonna select the uh, lane for five right and then i don't i don't want to paint anything so you can see there's a gravel texture and yeah this is exactly what we need i'm gonna go to the sculpt brush sculpt section blueprint brush and then i'm gonna create a new terrain magic clip brush i'm gonna click somewhere on the screen so we'll have a brush like this and i'm gonna go out of my select landscape select mode so basically i'm gonna use landscape clip feature of terrain magic if you want to learn more about that check the description below we have a full tutorial on uh, landscape clips and then about the place actors i'm gonna grab a new clip height map landscape clip put it over here into my landscape and then about the terrain magic content we have some height maps you can bring your own height maps as well i'm gonna put it over here and i'm gonna say invalidate so now we have some sort of yeah mountain and i'm gonna do some fading and right 
okay it's nicely blended into the scene and then i'm gonna scale the landscape a little bit all right right now we have this and i try like to have some sort of noise layer around my whole landscape uh, we have a very easy way to do that i'm gonna again grab a new height map clip put some over here on the screen and then i'm gonna add this uh, height map the second height maps example height map it's just like a noise uh, and i'm gonna put that into height map section i'm gonna set uh, match landscape size twice for the first time and it will appear like this but i'm gonna reduce the height like let's say 5000 something like this right now we have something like a variation on my landscape and this is exactly what we need all right and let's try to see how it looks like nothing interesting but we have something to work with and now uh, i'm gonna go to the landscape magic manager i'm gonna hide all the outlines so we have clean landscape right uh so then first thing is let's try to add our first uh, paint layer ground layer go to the landscape mode go to the paint section and from here uh, you can select any uh, paint layer you have make sure it sh make sure that it should be an uh, alpha layer uh, so i'm gonna select ground over here with autolus material uh, set the layer info file and then i'm gonna select the blueprint on here i can get a terrain magic weight brush so i'm gonna click somewhere on the screen and then uh, i can rename it uh, f2 i'm gonna say ground layer right and then i'm gonna go out of the landscape mode and inside my ground layer actor uh, i can add the paint layer as ground so it will uh, do something like this just for a couple of seconds all right now it's good and then uh, i can go to the uh, any normal mask section i can hit that we have uh, some ground uh, yeah like this and i have some settings i can tweak this uh let me get some lights over here all right uh, i can play with this and try to get some blending uh you have a lot of options over here like you have a lot of masks so here i just use the normal mask but if you want to learn more about this uh, we have a separate video on uh, on this topic and just check the description below uh, but in this case i'm kind of happy with this and then i'm gonna add a uh, some sort of rocky uh, texture for this slope area uh again same process go to landscape mode paint and paint section select your layer uh, and i'm gonna select the slope layer and set the uh, layer in white right i'm gonna go to the blueprint section at the weight brush Just click on the landscape go out of the landscape mode and if you can you can actually uh, change the name but it's not required slope layer then on the normal mask i'm gonna again hit the normal mask but before we do that i need to set a paint layer should be a slope so that's the name that we see on this landscape tool right now we can see the rocky texture on the ground this is not exactly what we need but we can easily uh, invert the normal mask we apply that to this uh, slope area but i think uh, i need to tweak this a little bit i'm gonna increase the uh, normal brightness all right i think i'm going to see a little bit more so basically we have some sort of gravel layer in between here but of course you can play with these values and get the result you want all right i think i'm i like this way this looks fine but again it's up to you you can use the texture you want and you can play with these values and get the result that you're really looking for all right now let's add some sand patches here and there the same process i'm going to go to the uh, landscape mode paint section paint brush I'm gonna select the uh, the layer I want here. I want to set the sand, and I'm gonna set the layer info file. Blueprint brush. Select the brush. Click on the screen. We have the brush. Rename that sand patches. So it's it's up to you. You don't have need to be exact. And then I go out of the uh, landscape mode, and on these sand patches, I'm gonna set the uh, paint layer as sand. So this is you need to be uh, accurate on this. It's case sensitive and sand all right and then i'm gonna add a normal mask so you can see sand uh, over here so basically it's working uh while i'm keeping this normal mask i'm gonna add the uh, area noise as well so we have some sort of noise okay cool i'm gonna add the range start to minus one i'm gonna increase the scale all right okay looks good so we have some sand patches here and there you can play with this value and get the result you're looking for but here i'm happy 
I think I'm gonna get a little bit of variation on this of this yeah looks good and right again uh, you can learn about all these things in the, my video about terrain magic weight brushes check the link in the description so you can learn about this uh, more all right uh, we have some sand patches so now let's add some uh, grass so it's be interesting so this is a feature of your landscape material purely not a terrain magic thing here with open land or the last the that's the material we use and here with the open land directory we have the uh, grass section autoless directory and we have the ground so i can add uh, any static mesh we have i'm gonna select uh this is something uh, that comes with one grass engine but uh, you can use any sort of a grass mesh over here uh, i'm gonna set the uh, density 200 and this should be 0 0.3 and 1.2 i uh, like to have a 7000 over here some sort of fading and and now you can see we have a grass right but we don't see grass on the sand area so that's expected that's how this material is set up but you can change them very easily all right uh okay it looks good right now let's try to add some uh, grass some sort of uh, grass on the sand area but i don't have any static mesh laying around uh but you can use some sort of pebbles rocks over here uh, let's just show you everything i'm gonna put some spear right random spear yeah let's set the max to 0 0.3 i know this mesh is quite big uh, 200 yeah it's too much you get the idea like you have some meshes over here and it's nicely blended i don't see them over here on the grass there. right but we, we don't need this i'm gonna remove this by quest you can add more of this stuff and uh, get the result that you're looking for but here i like to have some sort of edge sand on this landscape and here's how i'm gonna do this i'm gonna select my landscape section again same process paint paint and uh, here i'm gonna use a sand layer okay and go to the blueprint brush i'm gonna get a new weight brush click over the landscape go out of the uh, landscape mode and this is the brush i'm gonna rename that as sand beach all right and then about the uh, uh paint layer i'm gonna set it to sand and then uh just to make sure this works i'm gonna hit the normal mask yeah it works but here i'm gonna use a location mask uh, first i'm gonna center this uh actor to the center over here all right and i'm gonna enable the location mask i'm gonna increase this value so you can see uh there's a Right, I'm gonna put a value like 100,000. Right, and then I'm gonna increase the brightness to maybe three. Okay, we have some sort of sand uh, area on the center, and then uh, I'm gonna invert this. So exactly at the edges. Uh, all right, cool. So we have some sort of sand edge over here. So then I'm gonna go to my edge noise area. Select the edge noise. I'm gonna add some noise at the edges of this. Uh, I'm gonna increase the edge scale and I'm gonna increase the edge contrast. All right, we have some variation on the edge. Can work with the range. All right, we have nice edges. And then uh, we can we can try to add some area noise as well if you wanted. Yeah, uh, yeah this looks fine. All right, so we have uh, the sand patches here and there, and then we have some sand at the edge so likewise you can you can play with these add some more layers and get the result that you are looking for yep this is it uh so we will have more features related to this and i want to mention that the next tutorial or so will be uh, related to uh access this paint layer information from your blueprint do very interesting things like for example you can place put sounds uh, you can add some nitro effects as you uh, hit the foot on the ground and it will be really interesting an early approach is to use physical materials and it's quite sketchy and sometimes it doesn't work uh, but i'm gonna show you a very straightforward solution which works all the time uh which comes with terror magic for sure all right uh see you soon uh with something interesting bye